We begin with that CBS2 exclusive out of suburban Markham. Our Jermont Terry continues to break news. Jermont, an investigation now launched less than 24 hours after you exposed ghost businesses taking PPP loans. That's right, Brandon Erica. Late tonight, the mayor of Markham confirming that the Markham police officer who received a PPP loan to the address here at the police station is now the, under the center of an internal investigation. And to those other 1,400 questionable businesses, city inspectors will soon be heading out to verify their addresses because they all receive loans of federal tax dollars. CBS 2's report about unlicensed PPP business loans left Markham City Council members stunned. I was appalled when I actually saw the video. Well, I believe that there should be an investigation uh, by the Attorney General of Illinois. And I want to compliment um, uh, the fairness uh, of our, the journalism of Channel 2 for covering that. Council members acknowledge what we uncovered with the more than 1,422 questionable businesses who all receive taxpayer loans and none of them are licensed in the city must be regulated. But we can make sure that uh, we put them on notice that, uh, if, that if, if you are one of those 1,400, if I'm correct with the account, uh, 1,400, um, we're coming. We're, we're, we're regulating and we're coming. Among those who the city is now demanding answers from, Officer Kenneth Muldrow. He received a $20,000 loan for a lawn care service where he used the police station's address for his business. I'm trying to figure out why your lawn care service is not registered as a licensed business with the city of Markham. Can you explain yourself? <laughs> I don't have a, a lawn care service. Well, you got a PPP loan that was paid out for $20,000 uh, back in March. So if you don't have a lawn care service, who, who does? And it, and it was registered here to the police department, sir. If you've done nothing wrong, then prove it. Markham's mayor says Officer Muldrow is now the center of an internal investigation. Has that investigation started? It's already started. Once we got word of this uh, on the news, we took action immediately, the administrator, and we've already got things rolling legally. And to others who are not licensed, the mayor tells us, we're certainly going to, to go to these addresses. Uh, we've got their addresses. We're going to mail something to them. We're going to get some notification to them, and we want to know something in return about what you're doing in that, in that home or that, that business. Now, the mayor says after city inspectors verify those addresses, if they don't find any legitimate business or anyone, they will take their findings and pass it on to the federal government. As for this internal investigation involving Officer Kenneth Muldrow, no time frame as to how long it will take, but we do know it entails verifying his business that he used as the police department's address. So much to come on this story. Reporting live in Markham tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS Two news. All right, getting results, and we know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you, Jermont. And Jermont exposed more than 1,000 ghost businesses. Your tax dollars being wasted. See his exclusive investigation on our app. Search CBS Chicago wherever you get your apps.